Hi, I'm Chaplain Brian Coyne. I'm the Division Chaplain for the 82nd Airborne Division. And I'm here in Normandy, France. And behind me is the Douve River. And the story I want to tell you today is about Chaplain Francis Sampson. Chaplain Sampson landed as part of the 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment, uh, the 101st Airborne Division. And he landed here, somewhere in the Douve River. Uh, he reports that he came down in the deep water. And then thankfully his, his canopy stayed inflated and pulled him to shallower water where he could get his feet underneath him. You see, behind us here, this whole flat area was flooded by the Germans before in anticipation of our landings, leaving just the causeways uh, through the swamp, which made them the key objective uh, between St. Combe de Mont and Carentan and made it a key objective for the 101st Airborne Division to keep these open so that all of our troops landing on Utah Beach would have a way to get across this flooded area. So Chaplain Samson landed here, and if you've ever seen the movie The Longest Day, there's a, there's a scene of a chaplain who loses his communion kit in the water. And he dove for it and dove for it until he came up with it. And that's based on Chaplain Samson. He reported he lost it here in the deep water. But he was not about to move out to war without his communion kit and his way to celebrate mass for soldiers. And so he dove for it until he found it. And once he came up with it, he moved out and began to look for those who needed his assistance. And he came upon wounded and, uh, and set up a makeshift aid station. There he ministered to them, treated their wounds, prayed with them, until that position was overtaken by Germans. Well, the Germans found them there and uh, a couple of their soldiers had lined Chaplain Sampson and the wounded and the other men with him up against the wall and they were going to shoot him. They raised their rifles to their shoulders and some reports have it that at the last minute a German NCO came, saw what was going on, shot over the heads of the firing party to get them to stop, halting the execution of these prisoners. He said, Chaplain Sampson said that the, the German showed him a, a, a Catholic medallion inside his uniform and even showed him pictures of his family. After a short interrogation, proving that Chaplain Sampson was indeed a chaplain, they let him go so that he could continue to minister. And so he moved back up this, this direction to St. Calme de Mont, uh, where he uh, continued throughout the action uh, at an aid station, praying for the wounded, and the dying and ministering to all who had need there for his actions and his valor on d-day father samson was awarded the distinguished service cross and he would go on later to become the u.s army's chief of chaplains as chaplain francis samson